Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video we'll be taking a look at the ergonomic office chair from Mellow Home. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video we'll be taking a look at a ergonomic office chair from Mellow Home. Uh, the brand they actually sent to us is called Base TBL, or Bastable, or I'm not even sure how you pronounce that, but regardless, we're going to take it out of the box, put it all together, see how comfy it is and see if it's worth your money. Now at the moment on the Amazon site, it actually retails for $79.99. There is at the moment a voucher code for up to 10% off, so that brings it down to approximately about £72. So for Prime members, actually not a bad price for a quality office chair. But is it a quality office chair? We really don't know at the moment. So let's go through the unboxing process, stick it together and uh, see what it's like. Okay, so let's go through some of what we get inside the packaging first of all. So first of all, we get our uh, assembly instructions very handy and there is a QR code there so it says there please scan QR code to watch assembly guide video from YouTube or obviously just watch this one goes through gives you a breakdown of the parts where they all go etc pretty much uh, kind of IKEA-esque instructions so yeah pretty good and also you got some contact details which is always really good to see uh, if you've got any issues that kind of stuff so yeah excellent like that Okay, so next up we've got our parts, so uh, they're letter, so you can see which ones they are, so like L, uh, that one there is extra, so you've got some spare parts as well, so you've got that one there. Also, you've got your plastic covers, so you've got a spare plastic cover and the eight plastic covers for the side of the chair. There is the, the backrest, as you can see, so that's a, a mesh backrest, and a really cool feature of this, actually, is it's got a uh, adjustable lumbar support, so it actually slots up and down, so you can actually just slot it to wherever suits you. Now obviously it only moves from kind of there to there because, well, that's kind of where your lumbar support needs to be. Any higher up and it's just uh, gonna do your back in. So it's good that they've actually made it so it only goes to a certain level. Next up we've got the uh, the fabric base and as you can see, it's uh, kind of like a, a memory foam. It's quite stiff actually, pretty decent. And you've got the threaded sections on the side and on the base you've got the four anchor ports and also you've got the section on the front which tells you which is actually the front part. So yeah, that bit faces forward. Also, there is two arms, as you can see. So these are uh, gonna be obviously fixed arms, which actually for a lot of people are much better. Adjustable arms are a pain in the ass because they just weaken off or go loose at the end. So yeah, quite nice to see. A nice uh, finish to that. Awesome. There's obviously a gas lift for the actual chair itself. So a gas lift canister, the usual thing you expect to see. Got a set of five casters, which uh, kind of makes sense because there is a five caster base. Also, you've got your adjustment mechanism. So you've got your tension for the tilt and that kind of thing there. So you can adjust that however you want to. Also, you've got your release for the height adjustment and it says on there what it does. So up, lift, down, and then you can set it to free or lock if you move it in or out. So locked or unlocked, so that's okay. So look forward to putting that together. And last of all, we've got the actual base itself. Now the base itself appears to be, what I can only tell as being a, a plastic resin rather than metal. Um, whether there's, it does sound like metal actually. It looks like there's metal on the inside. So maybe it's just plastic covered. It does seem, actually there's an easy way of telling this. Grab something, it's got a magnet. Yeah, there is a little bit of magnetism in there. So there is some metal in there. I'd imagine it's metal coated with a uh, like a plastic or resin kind of substrate. So let's get it all put together. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is to actually put the wheels in. So we'll go ahead and do that first of all. So with the wheels, really simple, really easy to do. Basically just push in this little locating lug. So put those in. So just put those in. Spinning round. So that's that section done. So now what we need to do is uh, flip that over. And now we've got to line up the hole with the gas insert. So just pop that in there. Give it a little twist. So that is that section of it done. So that is the base completed. Okay, so next up is to attach the uh, the base section to the actual seat base. So we're gonna use the included Allen key and also from the part section, we're gonna use the part section J 
it's pretty obvious which one it is because there's only four of these bolts and there's four bolt holes and you can if you want to you can use a, a wrench of some sort or there is actually an allen key hole in the middle also so we're going to do these up a little bit to start with just do them so they kind of start gripping and once they've all synced up a bit or cinched up a bit then you can go ahead and then give them a fully firm tightening should probably only take about another two turns or half turns with this done now what we need to do is to use the bolts on the side as you can see just here and here and attach the actual arms on the side so using this there's the eight bolts so four per side so we can put some of those to one side for now and essentially what we're going to want to do is to start off on the base and just line that up roughly so you can see where the holes go down through and we can just get those started so now what we want to do is to match up the back section as you can see there's some screw holes there and basically just slide that through and connect these up so loosen that one off a little bit that'll give you a bit of a adjustment on there so you can get the next one started once you think they're pretty much fully tight then just give them another quarter inch or quarter turn so moving on to the other side again exactly the same principle so put the two screws through the bottom and make sure they're nice and tight And then all it is is a matter of lining up the back section. You might need to pull that in a little bit because obviously it is plastic and metal. So there is a little bit of kind of give to it. So once you get one in, give it a couple of turns. So that's uh, that done. Next thing to do is to uh, just put the blanking covers in on these sections. These are pretty simple to do, just plastic pushes, so get them lined up roughly and a little tap into place. Of course, if you don't want to use these, you don't have to, if you want to have access to the screws, if perhaps you want to kind of adjust them after you've used the chair for a couple of days or so, as the screws will kind of gradually slacken off slightly after initial use, but there we go. So that is it, that is the uh, Essentially the finished chair, all we need to do is to drop the chair, this section here, the circle, and just drop that onto the uh, onto the base, and uh, that is pretty much it. Okay, so just a slight amendment, which uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to insert this into the video, but hopefully it makes sense to you. So as we built it, you've got this front section here, which is showing you forward, and in the instructions, it doesn't really show you which is the front of the base or not. So I took the assumption of the front and the kind of handle being all the same way, which uh, I probably can't see very well in this picture. So the front section, the, the adjuster, being where it should be towards the front of the chair, but it's not, it's towards the back of the chair. There is in very, very small writing, just down here, a thing which says front. Now it's not obviously sh clear in there, the, in the instruction guide that you should be matching those up at all and obviously the seat base in that particular instruction doesn't have any arrows on it showing which way round is which so yeah i made that mistake so i had to take the uh, the base off only f the four bolts which uh, you may might be able to see there so yeah the four bolts basically undo the four bolts and just turn around 180 degrees it wasn't the end of the world but again could have been a little bit more uh, well explained in the actual instructions so anyway that's enough of that let's uh, see what this actually looks like Okay, so we're all done, and uh, yeah, first impressions is actually it's pretty darn comfortable. The seat base itself is actually quite solid and uh, pretty firm, a lot firmer than the kind of gaming chairs that I'm used to recently. And actually, the, the lumbar support on the back was the one that surprised me the most. It's actually, the adjustment on it is really good. I'm just trying to find the, uh, the right position, but yeah, it does actually work very well. It's, it's a very ingenious design. That's probably a little bit too high. That's too, yeah, that's perfect. So yeah, it feels really comfortable. The uh, the arms are actually quite low profile as well, so they don't actually come up that high, which I prefer, especially 
kind of for gaming. I don't always want to have them actually knocking my elbows on stuff. Again, you can't even see them underneath this desk. They do fit under the desk easily. This is on pretty much the lowest level of the chair. If I put it up a little bit, just making sure that's on the highest thing. So at the highest level, the arms just hit the desk. And there's about three or four inches of adjustment actually on the height. So let's uh, take it down. And there we go, we're right back down to earth again. Very comfy. I like it a oh, lot. It's got a, got a nice feel to it. It's actually quite compact as well. It's not like a, like a kid's school chair, but it's not like one of those big gaming chairs. So if you've got a, an office environment or like us in this little mics unboxing studio, we are limited for space and it's getting more and more cramped every day. So actually having a slightly smaller chair with pretty much the same level, if not better levels of comfort is actually really beneficial to us here, uh, especially for me working over in the corner on the uh, computer there, where there isn't a great deal of room behind me, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, it's pretty good. Some of the things I didn't like the instructions, uh, that wasn't the clearest of things to do, so I did end up assembling it wrong, then rectifying it, which was only a matter of undoing four bolts, but yeah, it's a little bit of a pain. They could improve that a little bit in the later iterations of the actual guide. Or maybe if I'd have watched the YouTube video, then I may have learned something there. The uh, recline is kind of okay-ish. It would have been nice to have seen some way, because you can recline actually quite a bit. It's uh, quite laid back, but you can actually lock it in that position. So it does want to spring straight back up. There is adjustment on the bottom for the actual uh, recline tension, but it doesn't make a great deal of difference as far as I can tell. But certainly is very comfortable. The base cushion itself being that really nice uh, fabric means it's going to be breathable so it's not going to be hot and sweaty like it can be with some PVCs or leathers so too hot in the summer, uh, too cold in the winter all that kind of stuff. At least with fabric you can just sit on it and hopefully it should be relatively easy to clean. It's got a quite a nice texture to the fabric which we'll show you some close-ups of which hopefully are going to be uh, not magnets for cat hairs. I don't think they will be. The back cushion itself actually really comfy and because it's that kind of double weave lots of air can get through there so you don't get all hot and sweaty which for filming in the studio in the summer months is going to be brilliant so I do like that a lot there's a, a lot of rigidity to it but also a lot of flexibility if that makes any sense whatsoever so the actual framework itself is actually really solid but the actual cushion and this kind of back support is very forgiving and actually it's pretty comfy so I'm going to be test driving this for uh, at least the next couple of days or weeks to see how it goes and see if it actually maintains its position as the primary chair that I use over on my editing desk. So let me know what you think about this one in the comments section. I'll put some affiliated links in the video description also so you want to pick one up. Like I said, currently there is a 10% uh, voucher on the site at the moment. So Melahome are the uh, companies to look out for. Okay, there will be links in the video description. That may change, obviously, do deals do come and go. So do keep an eye out for that one if you do want to pick up one of these chairs. Overall construction, excellent, can't fault it. So yeah, thanks Mellow Home for sending us for review purposes. Let me know what you think in the comments. So I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.